What's up, you beautiful bastard? Just jump right into it! Oh, hi. Today's the day that we get, like, one or two glitches and they're not gonna be major. Like, last week there was a couple. This week it's gonna be just a couple, I think. You know, just one or two. And they're gonna be minor. There she is! Yes? Why does Serana's gloves go through her outfit? Are those her, like, actual gloves, or...? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. She's, she's wearing Jester's gloves. Don't get rid of those. You don't want that stuff. Vin, find love again? No, I'm, I'm definitely not What is this? I think I just found my love again. I want you to know, I'm not the star of these streams. Neither is my lizard character. Or any of the rats with their little rat claws. Serana is the true hero. And as much as I give Serana shit for doing bizarre things, she's my best friend. So, um, last time on Skyrim, I killed the Emperor, for anyone who does not know. Emperor is dead. I suplexed him. That Emperor only had, like, one HP. The lowest amount of HP possible. And so, even, like, farting in the general vicinity of the Emperor would kill him. The suplex was just too strong, and it, it like, kind of accidentally maybe moved the Emperor a little into the wall. And he felt that, and he died. We all knew that, Vinny. Vinny, I told you that last time. It's like 6,000 people in the chat. It's kind of hard to keep up, you know? My cow, as I've mentioned, is the seer between the dimensions it and can- is done. Oh, God, loud Emperor whisper again. Emperor Titus oh. me the second lies dead. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. I don't know where you are! General Kenobi! Come to me! And we will form a new Jedi Order! Listener! Yes! <laughs> it's good to see you again, old friend. Cicero shall be listener. Not you! Now you will die! What? Serana, where'd you appear from? Gotcha! <laughs> oh, mister, you should see the look on your face! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I just I can't get over Cicero's voice. It's so high-pitched. It's amazing. You cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. What? A fucking slaughterfish is preventing me from fast traveling? You really can't attack underwater at all, can you? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Come on, attack! I can't attack! I can draw my weapon, but I can't attack! That's some shit right there. A fish on fire in the water. Are you kidding me? Are you- are you fucking- you're joking. What now? Wow, she's so fast! Serana, can you- can you kill the remaining enemies for me? How are you so fast? <laughs> she can't do it. She's trying so hard to kill the fish. <laughs> and, and, and thus Serana fades into the dank, murky depths of the ocean, never to be seen again. <laughs> oh, there she is. I hate to do this, but we're gonna we're we're gonna get some Cicero action for a little bit. Let's kill someone. Oh yes, Cicero and the listener <laughs> on the hunt. <laughs> he doesn't replace Serana. Oh shit! Oh look at this, we got the dream team. Lizard, Jester, 
Vampire! Think of all the memes. Think of all the things we could accomplish together. Apparently this is not supposed to happen and then this is a glitch. Do you think Serana and Cicero will ever acknowledge each other's presence? It's just not gonna happen, is it? Well, the Greybeards is my- <laughs> That stupid fucking grin. Look at that smile. Wow. This is Skyrim in a nutshell. Right here. Turns out that Horker is Cicero. Um, how do I... What's the best way to start climbing this mountain? Chat. To get to High Hrothgar. Where, where should I approach this from? Someone said bring a horse. I think Cicero replaced the horse. Cicero's my horse now. Hold it right... Oh, oh no, 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 horse is here. Look at this. The whole family is here. Hey, you. Why is there a clown following you? Hang on a minute. I'm just trying to... I wish trying I to do a thing. Deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. I think I'm probably the biggest danger. You... You will now swim. There you go. There you go. Well, now you don't have to use the roads. You can just swim away. Yeah, that NPC is now a fish. <laughs> there he goes! There he goes! Like a salmon. Like a beautiful salmon. Do you see this? Do you see this shit? Wow! How many warlocks exist within this realm? Posing as your average townsfolk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, slow that footage down. Yeah, that dude is still standing there. Uh, another um, interesting thing is happening here with Cicero. I want you guys to just take a look in the distance there. He's gonna be like... ...jacked in the legs. Dude's gonna have sick glutes. Is that in the legs? Probably not. But whatever. Cicero is gonna be jacked. He found the Skyrim treadmill. Come on. You almost got it. Come on, come on, come on. Just come around. I, I know this isn't the most compelling entertainment, but please, bear with me a minute. I have to teach Cicero a lesson. Come on. You can do it, Cicero. You're, you're almost there, buddy. Come on. Just, just, yeah, there you go. You did it. Good job. You've been... You've learned the ways of the fish. Saran is at the top of the mountain. Yo, if fucking Serana made it to the top first, I'm killing Cicero on the spot. Where's Seranor? Serenor. Ser Seraquil, where are you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And Cicero wins the race! She's pissed. He's- he's happy. He's happy. Let's move faster. The sun is- She's pissed. Sun. Did you say something about the sun? Remember the sun. He finally. He was the first Jurgen Windcaller. Whoa! She almost started moonwalking. Okay. All Dude. Opposition. Dude, please. What is Way this? What is this? Glamour pose? Possible. You posing for the stream? Whoa, Serana! <laughs> Serana! Well, this is a new level. What? Jesus Christ, Sir, what are you doing? It really is quite satisfying to do 30 oh, wow. times attack damage. See, Serana says these nice things. And what the fuck does Cer Cicero say? <laughs> what do you want to fucking kill birds for, Cicero, you sick cunt? And Serana is like being all sweet and touching, and Cicero's like, Oh, I want to kill a bird! Chat is... <laughs> Chat is going mental about Cicero. To see. Can't, I'll feed its corpse to a mud pet rat. 
What? <laughs> right through Cicero. Coltspin.mov. You know what I haven't said in a while? I used to say it a lot. I just want to say it one more time for, you know, old time's sake. Uh, well, I'm nothing if not predictable, but, um, just wanted to say musculature. That's all. Everything's good here. Everyone's happy. No giants, bandits, couriers, wizards, cultists, clowns, frowns, geeks, freaks. New York's hottest club is Dragonborn. Oh my god, there was a dra there was a giant the whole time. Goodbye. <laughs> Your turn, Cicero. Join Serana in orbit. It's your destiny. Holy shit. Now the giant is fighting spiders? Yeah, Cicero's fucking gone. Oh, no, no, no. He's still here. He's still here. Serana's back. She's back from space. Leave Cicero alone. <laughs> or better yet, yes. Do exactly what you're doing. Damn. Savage. I loaded because I want to check something out here. Okay, so... They found a giant, right? I want to bring the giant to the... Why is this my maximum movement speed? Am I overburdened? That's strange. Okay, the giant is here for my cow. Why do you keep trying to take my fucking cow? You're an asshole. Can't pickpocket a giant. The foot of death. The horse is getting involved. Yo! I wonder if the horse can get launched. Horse kill! I think Cicero will be back anytime soon. Amazing. Whoa, oh, it's too close. Cicero is hungry. Need a sweet home. Cicero's kind of always hungry, though, no? Feed him poison and knife. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the fucking line he, you guys were groaning about earlier. Oh, that's disgusting. Must oil a corpse in the hard to reach places. Oh! Oh, hey, Cicero, check this out. Oh, hey. It's still funny six years later. Six fucking years later, and it still kills me. <laughs> well worth it, mate. <laughs> well worth it, mate. 
I wanted nothing more than for Cicero to be on my team until he actually ended up on my team. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? He's somewhere. Somewhere. He's trying to get back up, I'd imagine. <laughs> Cicero doesn't mind. Cicero will keep following. He likes the abuse. After all, he has been trying to talk to a corpse for the past however many years. Yeah, but the corpse actually talks back to me. Cicero's like oiling its undercarriage and suckling from it. Perhaps. I, I happen to be aware of a couple of lizards that work at these docks here. It annoys us. What does it want to take from us now? Uh, you want to get married? Talk to Captain Gallon. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back <laughs> there. <laughs> Cicero, <anymore>. please. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? <laughs> Cicero looks so forlorn in the d distance. Why am I oiling the undercarriage? Oof. I follow around the listener. He abuses poor Cicero. He throws me off the cliffs. When I come back, I come back and I oil and I rub and I oil and I rub. Look, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They raised the prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for what? every last no! Let me talk to Lero. I'll see what we can do. He says to the man, it's not a horror. That's my wife. <laughs> Give me strength. The stories say he sought to claim Solstein for himself. And the dragon what the fuck? What was, what was going on? Whoa, whoa! It's an ancient stone of power. No! Oh. oh, nice. She says the line too. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> way, way to interrupt. We're just learning some cool stuff. So now I have three followers. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. I have this- I have an army. I, I have all the fast foods. I have McDonald's. I have Wendy's with me. And... I guess Serana can be, like, Burger King. Oh, must oil mother soon. Get all the hard to reach places. Cicero, why would you say that in front of our new friend? Why- why would you do that? Think about what that might sound like to someone that doesn't know you. I can't bring this guy anywhere. I can't bring this. I can't. I can't. I can't keep bringing this guy with me because how am I ever supposed to make new friends? Cicero has said literally every <laughs> literally <laughs> sorry literally everything wrong since we got into this cave. I can't say literally. It's just it's just <laughs> impossible for me to say that. I, we have to get rid of Cicero. Well, how, how did I teleport behind that dude like that? I shall not. I think I just killed Cicero. <laughs> it's my fault that Cicero's down. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> what the fuck? Just what? <laughs> Laughing. It's good. Good game. So Cicero is laughing with his mouth not moving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
the fucking Dolan voice. <laughs> what? what? Holy shit! Was that Serana that just got sent underground? Serana is now in the fucking underworld. Um, yeah, like, the quest lady's gone too now. So, th this is like a, <laughs> I think this is like a real problem. Just give me a second here, I wanna, I wanna do one more thing. Yep. Okay, no, this is a real problem, because I only have Cicero. Serana and, uh, Quest Lady, whose name I forgot, Freya, are gone. I think I have to reload this area, because we're gonna miss out on important stuff. Reload? I guess I could, let's, let's see. I think I just have to go out here and then come back in. There's two of them. Okay, let's see. One, two, and three. There we go. Good. I should, like, deck Cicero out in full armor. Did you see that? A live corpse? Ser Serana raised the skeleton in this cage here for a minute. It, it, it teleported. That's interesting, Serana. Do you have the power of teleportation as well? I believe Cicero is stuck. Yep. Yep. Well, this is- okay, wait a minute, this is a whole other layer of fucked up. Okay, well, you, you got down, Cicero. Now you just have to find the enemy. Okay, so the enemy... <laughs> that was actually really impressive. I thought the enemy was glitched. It was glitched. It didn't want to attack. Set his ah, shut up, Cicero, please! Serana's got the right idea, Jesus. We just watched someone fucking disappear. What's happening here? Oh, I'm... I'm in the statue. <laughs> this is the worst! I don't... I don't think I can continue with Cicero. What, um... Is this... A hentai book? Because it just I'm grew awesome. tentacles. Let's go. Time to go. Who's speaking? Time to go. What, what is that? Boss says you're to come back with me. What? Come on, let's go. What? Are you Boss saying? Who is that? Come back with me. Huh? Boss says you're to come back with me. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay, where do you want me to go? Who are you? Time to go. <laughs> oh my god. Time to go. Okay, this is this is kind of creepy. Come on, let's go. Time to go. Okay. Come on, let's go. I told him no once already. We've got work to do. I'm not chasing that map. It's a fool's errand. I'm done. Leave me alone. 
Boss Why was I hearing her so vividly in my brain? Uh, whoops. Well, well, it looks cool here. I don't think I want to be here yet. Why is the sky Shrek farts? Did you know that there's a petition to add Shrek's house to Moisty Meyer in Fortnite at the moment? Why are people so fucking obsessed with Shrek? Like, what did he ever do for you? Whoa, was it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Serrano was like flying for a second. Oh! Poor son of a bitch. Was that like a special animation just for that one creature? Because that was particularly brutal. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. You can't get blood from a stone, though, Oh, Serrano, why you... why? Serrano is working on the railroad. All the live long day. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone how do you know how to do this, Serrano? No, you're not crazy, Cicero. Huh. Kill Jester Vinny. Thanks, Charles. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company and a key. Fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> What was that, Serrano? What the fuck was that? Describes a discovery that was <laughs> mine by some of the diggers. They wanted grip. Nice. Some glowing jelly. You can use that on all kinds of blemishes. Shit! I think I set Serana on fire there. What happened? What happened? Executed from behind? I got an arrow to the back of the head? Oh fuck, I gotta do all that again? What was that? I knew I oh no! Oh, Cicero's back, fuck! Why didn't I save? I'm gonna vomit. I'm going to vomit. Seriously though, that was fucking shit. That was horse shit. It's like a fucking insta-death. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is- this is gonna go- I don't think Saranor can get through. Oh, she did it! Third time's the charm. Let's kill someone. Oh man, I wish I stealthed this. Jesus! Someone emailed me saying that they, uh, they were... Um... I should get this email, it's a good one. I don't think it turned out to be accurate, but it was an email about a kazoo. Hey, Barnyard. I woke up excited and thrilled to find out that my new order from Onaj has finally made it across the Atlantic. Along with my new... hoodie... 
goodie bag arrived, first thing I did was test out my kazoo. While making a fun noise, it also left a very foul metallic taste in my mouth. Just around four hours later, I got really bad liquid shit diarrhea and suspect it's because of the kazoo's material. It goes without saying that this is a bad flaw for an instrument into which you blow with your mouth. Um, please feel free to ignore this email and treat this as misinformation, if you will. But if complaints like this amass, as I imagine they might, you might want to bring this to people's attention. Hmm. It says here, um... I was too stupid to properly play a kazoo. It was the kazoo, but rinsing it off with water worked. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't slurp on a kazoo to, so that the materials enter my digestive, my digestive tract, like... However, all of our kazoos come with diuretics. So please, if you are having issues with your bowels, check out one of our fine metallic kazoos. Diuretics is pee, not poo. Well, shit, I thought I was smart for a second. What word am I looking for anyway? Laxative. Of course it's laxative. The hell is wrong with me? I knew that. Vinny, I'm laughing because Barnyard is supposed to be your name. We could say anything and we'd know it's your name. Hello, blip your p blip on radar. It is I, Steven, and I'm here to tell you that your kazoo, your kazoo improved my sex life by 30%. Vinny, I played your kazoo, and now my kazoo is permanently erect. Blumpkin, it is I, Matthias, and I'm here to tell you that your kazoo killed me. I'm- I'm actually dead, and I'm speaking th like, from the other side. Using one of those crazy boxes that they, you know, communicate with ghosts. I think they're called, um... Spirit boxes, where it's like, Hello, I am a spirit, I am a ghost. Yeah, hello. I died by... Playing one of the mines on Skazoos. It killed me. Blogan. It's me. Scrumpkin. I'm here to tell you that your munchkin gave me a severe case of herpes. Well, they are tested. Remember, every kazoo is quality tested for your assurance before they get to you. And we do not discriminate against people with herpes, so... Sorry. This is almost a cloud sword. The all, like, Serana says such nice things. Where'd you come from? Done and done. Glad you're here with me. Such nice things. Two-handed isn't exactly my specialty. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, God! I hope you're doing good, Vinny. Um, aside from the mild voice crack, I think I'm okay. No one really knows for sure. I mean, how do you know what's going on inside your body? You don't. You just don't. I'm telling you, Jerry! I don't know what's going on in there, Jerry! I don't know why there's so many voices happening tonight. You guys got, like, at least eight or nine different voices during this stream. Most not good, or like barely passable, or just dog shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my Homer, my Homer Simpson voice, voice cracked. Hey, Vine Sauce, got any jokes for April Fools? Oh, yeah. Skyrim's combat system. Someone... A, a number of people in chat are saying that they have hentai libraries. You know, you should probably tell your prospecting employer on a job interview that information. I'm sure they would be very impressed. Indeed. You've had an interesting week of streams. The past seven days of streaming... ...has been... Oh, look, it's a book pussy. A bussy. 
All right, good night, everybody. The BBC would like to apologize for the previous comment about Bussy. We realize that this is a Christian stream on Easter Sunday. There shall be no further discussion of book pussies, book ginas, bookstacles, book enlargement pills, or any such thing of the sort, the nature of which this is disgusting. Especially no talk of booklets. No, there shall be no discussion of booklets here on the stream. I keep waiting for the viewer numbers to go down, but they never do. But what do you do if you wake up and you see this? Really, like, let's not gloss over this. You wake up, you look out your window, and you see Tentacle Portal. What are your last actions? Aside from, you know, cleansing your bowels and bladder, because that's what you do in the morning. You don't know how much time is left. You don't know what's about to happen. You know, the, the government, like in Independence, they throws a nuke at it, and it just absorbs into the portal. Selfie. Selfie with tentacles. Vinny, you know how the chat is going to answer this. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. That is how chat would answer this. That's, that's a good point. And on that morning, tens of thousands of people were caught bending over asses towards the sky. And then the tentacles disappeared. And those with their asses out were posted to the internet. And they were never hired for a job ever again. The end. What would I do to be serious for a minute if what appeared to be the end of the world was happening? I would do a stream. You know, if it was like tentacle, like Lovecraft end of the world, I would still do a stream and just say goodbye real quick. Just be like, all right. Well, I mean, it, it wouldn't be like, all right, it, it wouldn't be like that. That would not be my tone. It would be like, uh, fuck. It was an honor and a pleasure. It was a good run on Earth. We, we had a good run. We lasted a little while. We averted a number of catastrophes. We built a thing that could destroy us, but we somehow didn't use it. And instead, tentacles from the sky decided to end us. Nukes? No. Tentacles? Yes. So, I mean, that's a credit to humanity that we didn't wipe ourselves out before the tentacles did. Uh, what else would I do? Uh, probably drugs. I gotta find some. Just a couple drugs. Just like one or two drugs. Yeah, like a drug and a half. A drug and a half. And I, I really have never done hard drugs. It's a true story, I haven't. I took Vicodin for a toothache one time. Well, for, you know, wisdom tooth removal. Um... You know, I did I, I did the Super Mario's one uh, two times, and one time was terrible, and I was like, yeah, not again. That's not happening again anytime soon, and it hasn't, sadly. Um, and the uh, oregano, a couple times, a couple times the oregano happened, M couple. In the in the distant past, the oregano happened, but I feel like the oregano wouldn't be good enough for tentacle uh, destruction, and I feel like you'd need like. I don't know, you, you need so, something that would... Maybe you need special brownies. I can make some special brownies. DMT, Jesus Christ. By the way, if you want to watch a really bizarre but interesting documentary on something that your brain produces naturally when you die, which is uh, called DMT, dimethyltryptamine or something, Watch, um, DMT, the spirit molecule. Fascinating and strange. People see machine elves. Like, a number of people have seen the same thing and report that they see, like, elves. I'm not kidding, like, elves made of machines that, like, speak to you intelligently. And numerous people say they see this. It's not just, like, one or two people. It's, like, a lot of people that have tried this see these machine elves. Look it up. It's weird. Yeah, it's really strange. You know what Carl would do? Well, while I'm fast traveling, I'll let you know. So what would Carl Pilkington do at the end of the world? 
Since, obviously, the days of Nostradamus, there's been many people who've tried to foresee the future. Uh, Carl, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but there's endless um, you know, predictions. Apparently there are other planets that may collide with ours. You know, there's some scientific basis on this. But if you knew with certainty that today was the end of the world, how, how would you spend that final day? So, for instance, I've always wanted to smash up a bar. Do you know what I mean? It's strange, strange, but I've always wanted the exhilaration of just smashing all those bottles, like you see in a film. But would you enjoy it as much, knowing that you're going to die in eight hours? I don't know, I suppose it's the sense of abandon, you know? I mean, maybe I'd murder a person. You know, wow. just see, you know, I don't know, but I think I'd probably go mental. Because that's Because I've always been a very reserved person, you know? I've always... I've never got into a fight, I've never caused a rumpus. Yeah, but that's a worrying thought, because... Um, we, we don't have to have the end of the world for it to be the end of your world, because a lot of people know that they're terminally ill, so mm. they don't go around smashing up bars and killing people. But I suppose I know there'll be no repercussions ultimately, because they're gonna the next anyway. day everyone's gone, yeah, so there's so, not going to be mourning families. But, but, then, uh, but then how dare you deprive that person of his last eight hours or ten hours of life? Um, I don't care, because it's the last day on Earth. What would you do? I've always wanted to kick a duck up the arse. <laughs> So, uh, how do I get back to Skyrim? I need to get back to my house. Oh, there we go. Anyway, uh, let me put these books away first, actually. No, you hear a flute. That's a flute, Cicero. That's a flute. That's a motherfucking flute! Cicero. It's a flute. It's a flute, Cicero. It's a flute. I'm thirsty. It's like how you would say it in school. I'm thirsty. Sit down, asshole. Oh. Maybe you guys didn't go to the same type of school that I did. We're all thirsty, chat. The whole fucking chat is thirsty. You guys want to fuck machine elves. Someone's gonna do DMT and try to seduce a machine elf tonight. And they're gonna find out it's it's just like a geometric figure and... You know... It doesn't matter. Someone will be successful and mate with a machine elf. And then the aliens will truly come down to this planet. After all this time. They were just waiting for us. To figure all that out. Here's a thought. It's just a thought experiment, okay? What if... And I say, what if... You chose... Your birth. It's just a thought experiment. I'm not saying... I'm not making any claims. But like, what if, like, you, as like a ghost fetus, were floating around somewhere in the ether, and you're like, yes, that's where I want to be born. And then, um, the great ghost was like, why do you want to be there? And then you say, I want to watch Vine Sauce. And they say, say no more, fam. And then you're in. What a time to be alive. I can just see the chat exploding in my peripheral. I'm not actually looking at it. But I can observe. I can feel the chat. Like when I say something a little bit weird or like controversial or crazy or well, you know what I mean. I just, I just see the chat, like, it's, it just speeds up at a high velocity. I know I've done my job. I want to see Cicero explode from the groin outwards. Like, just fucking, like, get decimated. And I want to see Cicero's bones expand to, like, 500% of their original size. There's- there's definitely someone in chat that wants to bone Cicero. The question is, would you actually do it? You know, there's a big difference between wanting to do it, and then Cicero's like standing over you with his Cicerussi, and he's like, hey. Ooh! Ooh, the listener! Yes! Ooh! Let me get the, the hard-to-reach crevices! No one's here. Oh, there's that cool sound. That's a glitch that they could do with fixing. Like, seriously, that needs to be fixed. I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Now that you've delivered the message... <laughs> <laughs> Someone at PAX actually gave me, um, a cutout of Cicero, like a little, like, uh, they printed it. And they said, Cicero is hungry, give Cicero a sweet roll. A pleasure to meet you, Sarah. So just letting you know, Cicero has- has his fans. 
Whoa, whoa, I just saw it inside your brain for a second, Cicero. There was nothing in there. It was ho- it was totally hollow! Why is Cithro- Cicero's mouth open? Cithero. Syphilis. Cicero's new name is Syphilis now. Close your fucking mouth. What's- what's wrong with you? Do you prefer cheese or onion pierogies? <laughs> This seems like a very important question to you, so I will answer it truthfully. Um... The answer is I'm not a replicant. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Why are there like dudes down here? Oh, there you go. There's your double dawn breakers. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Yes, yeah, Serana! Yes, yeah, Serana! Shit. Whoa. I don't know what the hell is happening, but I'm actually now very afraid for my life. Oh, that was a good one! Did Cicero try to claim your kill? Yes, I believe so. Is this the Buffins? You me. <laughs> oh yeah, this this guy again. They they just look like they look like they're fucking masks from the movie Troll 2. And that's not a compliment. I, I love that it's sitting like a Jarl from uh Mainland Skyrim. We family, we strong, you stronger. We devil, you strong. I can speak their language too. Are you saying you want my help? Build them up. Run. Prize beast. Run. Full tribe kid. Chase away. Build them up. Fear. You break me. Follow you. Yes. Yes. I feel high playing this right now. I, I'm so out of it. And this is making so... It's so funny and it just makes... It just makes me laugh. The, the voices... The way they speak, but like in fragmented sentences. It's just so wonderful. It's so... It's so pure. I love it. I'm staring at that stupid fucking alien because I haven't... I haven't removed it from my screen, so every time I look over to see the chat, I also see this. And it just doesn't need to be like that. Um, so now how do I get a f the follower? I thought the chief was gonna be my follower. Why'd you do that? What the fuck? <laughs> Cicero is at your service. Oh, Cicero, you're blocking the glitch. Listener. Did you see that on the left? Dude went through the house and onto the top of it. I'm stuck. This is a clusterfuck of blue tons. My my little gl glitchy blue ton warrior friend has arrived, and Cicero's going to oil the crevices of the night mother. Look at this, look at this one. Look, the lighting is, is so flattering to this one's tits. Good... Shit. I saw that, Serana. I saw that glitch. I hope you guys love this sound, because you're going to be hearing a lot of it.
Someone's saying Serrano needs to cover up. You don't understand that the upper titty is the most resistant part of the vampire and can withstand up to 300 lumens or so from the sun. That's why the titty window exists. You understand? <laughs> yes, I used lumens, which is probably... probably not at all correct to measure sunlight. But I do have um, a flashlight that has a lot of lumens. I hate when you, you buy a flashlight and they're like so many lumens and then you get it and it's less lumens. That's just a shame. What if it's just horny? It's kind of what it sounds like to me. I don't know why I would say that, but... Someone in chat just said, call Jester. <laughs> What are you doing to that? What, what the fuck? The men who punch at goats. Well, shit. What is this? Your scroblin is breathing heavily because it needs to be milked. Okay. I volunteer Serana as tribute. Wow, even in a fucking pause menu, it doesn't shut up. It somehow continues to breathe while it talks. What? 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 <gasps> are these all mine? Yup, these are all my followers now. What is this game? They just got cloned. I now have an army of Blutons. Oh wait, no, 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 I get to choose. Never mind. I lied. No, I thought- I thought they were all my followers. Shit. I got so excited for a second. I was just like, whoa, I can take as many of them with me as I want. Still, what are they doing here? Yeah, I don't know. And- and they're all followers. Or potential followers, at least. Wait a minute. What the fuck are you doing? This is how you fight? You throw arrows like spears? That doesn't really work, does it? I can't miss this. Otherwise... What the fuck happened? Did you see that? Does that count as a miss? It hit an invisible wall! Serana gonna Serana. We all float down. Yeah. <laughs> Pugloth. Excuse me? Where- where are we going? What is this series of events? What? <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so now show me where to go. I don't know. I don't even know where to go. The quest marker is Saying something different than is actually happening. Okay. Oh, that took a while. Alright, I see now. Okay, we're good. Vinny, it's like you're traveling with a pug. All dialogue will be overwritten by breathing. You're following me? Oh man, I have three followers. You know what happens when you have three followers. Glitches. Oh, great, there's that cool audio crackle glitch. Do you miss Cicero? I miss him now. I'm starting to miss Cicero every, every breath that this blue reekling takes. Every breath he takes. I miss Cicero even further. 
Especially, yeah, no, I think to myself when I hear, when I hear the blue dude, I'm like, ah, te estoy velando. The problem is, one of my assistants doesn't shut the fuck up. Two of my assistants don't shut the fuck up. What a nice noise that is. Spencer Gifts was selling those fake cigarettes. The ones that you blow into and they produce smoke. So I, I um, acquired these Jape cigarettes and then pretended to smoke one nonchalantly in front of my grandmother and she actually thought... She really did think I was smoking a cigarette for a minute. And she got very, very, very loud and nervous. I don't, I don't know why I just told you that story, but now you know it. So they do work. They do work. They also sell the fake lottery tickets, like the fake scratch-offs. I got one of those for my friends. Now I was like another eight years older by this time. And um, yeah, it's the one where it, it japes you into believing that you won like $10,000 on a scratch-off. But you don't. It's just, you know, it's a prick device. If you want to ruin your credibility with your friends, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. You want to hear the worst example? And this is sadly a true story. I wish it, I kind of wish it wasn't a true story, but there was a kid that I went to school with. I don't remember which grade this was. This, this could have been fifth or sixth grade. Like, there was someone in my class who actually stepped in dog shit on purpose on a couple of separate occasions because he thought it would be funny to make the class stink like dog shit. There's nothing more to the story, but that, that happened. Um, and then my memories of the Play-Doh poop are very, very hazy. That might not have even been my story. I really, I doubt. I, 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 I don't know, man. Memories lie. They do, though. I'm, and my serious, my serious problem with memory is that it's just like, did that happen to me or did it happen to one of my friends? And I think that the Play-Doh poop was actually my friend Sal. <clears throat> you want to know what Play-Doh poop is? It's there was a great. As I remember it, there was like in in the boys' bathroom there was a grating, like uh, I think it was a vent, and someone pushed poop inside of it, and it um, it was like Play-Doh, like when you put Play-Doh through one of those molds, and um, people were wondering where the smell was coming from, but it was it was there, it was inside the vent. That might not have happened to me. And I, I think I've told that story on stream a couple times, but I'm, I'm now embarrassed that I don't know the validity or accuracy of the story in regards to my own life. Vinny, where the fuck did you grow up at? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I mean... The stuff ain't normal. What's wrong? You, know, you never heard of uh, the old classic step in dog shit on purpose gag? Toronto went from, like, hurt animation to sassy in 0.3 seconds. That was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. With the cue by retrieve from the pumping pedestal... Excuse me, how can you do this? Stop that! I'm not doing anything! You're talking underwater, dude! You stopped... Oh, that was so good. Oh, you're back! Whoa! You, you can't just keep doing that. Watch where you're going. You had more you were saying? I mean, you were saying it underwater, but please, do go on. So I guess you can breathe forever, too. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's- that's the I'm running out of air animation and I need to jiggle my way up as fast as I can to get a, a breath of fresh air. I see, I see. One time I stepped in dog shit. And I was embarrassed that I stepped in dog shit because people were making fun of me that I stepped in dog shit. So, I argued that it was smelly mud. For half the day. Because I couldn't conceive how I had stepped in dog shit. Again, we're talking like 5th or 6th grade. 4th, 5th, 6th. That's in, in that 
general region, so I said it was smelly mud. The steam's up! But then I copped to it, and I was like, yeah, it's probably dog shit. But it was very embarrassing, you know? Listen, I mean, unless you're the kid who stepped in dog shit on purpose, it, it's not a desirable thing. Oh, good. Sure to say hello to <laughs> I love his reaction. He sees the tentacles come out of the book. He's like, oh, good. Do the stanky dance. Do the stanky dance. Go to stanky dance. Do the stanky dance. Going down to down. Dancing stanky down. <laughs> Serrano wants to get down too. The skull also tell of the day when we must finally look 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 on the left. Look at look at her look at her hands. What is she doing? She got stanky hands. Is she cold? Does she have some kind of disorder? I have no idea what this guy's talking about because I'm too busy looking at her itchy like fingers. Just give me one more second, chat. I know this isn't the most entertaining of things I could be doing in this game. I could be doing so much other stuff like Collecting boar asses, or, um, killing mud crabs. I don't really understand. Sneak McArcher. But I trust you did it for the good of the village, so... Thank you. What? What? Like, we were making progress. I was just trying to get him into that, that little hole. I can, I can do it, I think. The foot, the foot is preventing him from going in. Maybe I just lift him a little bit like this. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. There we go. This is what the Skyrim streams have become. All right. All right, well, I've done enough damage here. Gotcha! I'll name you Pikachu. Are you supposed to be, like, jiggling like this? I feel like this isn't supposed to be happening. Just a small criminal! Dragon, resist your voice. So I, can, I can use fire too, man. Oh, good. Good game. Now it's probably a bad time to tell you that I saw a gif that's going around the internet today of someone getting, uh, an eel... Like, they're in the hospital, they're on, like, um, you know, a hospital bed, and they're getting an eel pulled out of their, um... So, I like the spear, I think it's, it's pretty good, uh, the staff, sorry, staff. And I think that, um, having access to tentacles is definitely cool. This is the strongest boss in the game. Whoa. This... What the fuck?! <laughs> Why is my dude trying to get up? <laughs> Am I not dead? Wait, what is ha- what the fuck? Dead, but not quite. Oh. I, I see what's happening. Okay, it's a whirlwind. That's that's not me. That's like some kind of magical force. Just want to try something out.
tell you something. It's not easy being this cheesy. So I did 30 times damage, and it still wasn't enough. So yeah, this I'd, I'd like to think that this boss is is quite a motherfucker. Let me let me let me, let me cheese it up a little bit more. Yes, go to Serana, go to Serana, yes. Am I dead? No, 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 I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Just a little fucked up, that's- OH! My sta- oh my god! Try one more time. See, my, my plan is to hit him multiple times in a row, so I can get the 30, 30, 30. Oh, God, what the fuck? No, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay, no, no, I'm not dead. I, I am... Like, fucking dead. I'm very, very fucking dead. Nope. Do not kill. Do not kill me. Do not kill me! Is my screen gonna be straight shaking this whole time? Okay. Okay, time to leave Solstheim and go back to Skyrim. Oh my god, people are saying to summon Durnavir, but I don't think Durnavir can fit in this arena of battle. I mean, I'll try. Look how much damage I've already taken. Okay, it works. I, I I can't even go. I can't go near him. What are you doing, Finn? What are you doing? I could have had some really nice damage. I'm like, gee, why is my my knife not slashing? And then it's a bow. Got him! Got him! Grand soul gems... Some ebony arrows and some ectoplasm? Is that it? Do you think... Wait, 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 wait. Do you think that that was my... Dagger proccing for the point, uh, for the 1% insta-kill? Or did I just do times 30 and it was amazing? Summon... Car stack to fight for you for 120 seconds. You may only use this ability three times and only while outdoors. No, you can't insta kill. So I guess what I ended up doing was critical hit and then 30% or 30 times damage. Car stack is supposed to be immune to that. 4,000 health. <laughs> so three times, even though that's the hardest boss in the game. Wait, if that's the hardest boss in the game, then what the fuck am I gonna need that for? Also, where's Serana? Serana, where did you go? In space, probably? Oh, okay. Oh, she was smart. She left early. Tough day for you. What?
to still remember how to fight. Get it now while we can. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Wow, even Dernavir isn't making any sense right now. Are you fixed yet? No? Okay, don't look at me with those beady vampire eyes. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this Reekling. It, it's just too much. I, I'd rather take Cicero's jokes. At least I know what you guys feel like when you watch my streams. I didn't know you were a magician, too. Where you could- you could conjure instruments, play them, and no sounds come out. What are you doing up there, cow? Uh-huh. You know, I'm like doing the eat three footage thing, where they walk really slow and they have perfect camera movements, as if anyone plays like this. Let me display the glitch properly. Yeah, so here we can see the beloved Skyrim cow phasing through the fence in full HD glory. That cow has had a lot of incidents. Someone could probably make a compilation video of just cow incidents. And it would easily hit like five, five, six minutes. Maybe more. Someone said you could really milk some views out of that video. The amount of stuff, like if you really think about this, say I stopped streaming or if... I'm gonna say God forbid something happened, you know, where I couldn't stream. The amount of compilation videos from my 3,000 videos on Full Sauce, or more than 3,000 videos. Like, you could- there would be like an infinite amount of content. Here's every time Vinny said the word Thrussy. Here's every clown. Here's every time... Vinny said Desert P. Here's every glitch. Here's every horse in a Vinny video. Here's every cow moment in the Vinny videos. Someone could take, like, a word per stream and combine them into new sentences. I think that you are shit, and I believe that this game is cock. Okay, yes, you're a member of the Dark Brotherhood now. The problem with a Reekling in the Dark Brotherhood... Of course, they know when he's coming. Being a member of the Brotherhood means you need to be stealthy. What the fuck? Oh god, see Cicero. Let's kill someone. Uh, I don't really like you either. Cicero is Oh yes, Cicero and the listener. And I said to the pigry, you're not dead. You're pigry. Oh, here we go again with the fucking jokes. What have I done? Not sure if Vinny isn't watching chat, but the interaction level is very low. Well, I guess I just proved that wrong. <laughs> I'm just passing through. I have nothing to do with this. Are you- my interactions are so good! Right, Cicero got involved. I think it's time for me to leave. They- they found me. They've spotted me. What? It's so, so incredibly hard to hit things when you're on a horse. Even with glitched fucking tentacle swords. How is that an attack animation? I think Cicero and Serana are fighting giants still, by the way. So, in regards to interaction with chat, usually when chat hits a certain, like, level of, uh, meme spam and 
PogChamp, it can be really hard to interact in a meaningful way. Similarly, when I play a game that is extremely engaging upon my senses and requires a lot of um, my limited mental ability to pay attention to, I tend to interact a bit less. I'm not even swinging that sword, and it's still growing tentacles. What the fuck? Bethesda, what kind of effort do you put into your games? A and to think, this is the HD version of this game. You're witnessing the special edition. Well, mostly. See? Look how special it is. We ride. Is there not a way to, like, control the dragon? Because the dragon is just making sharp right turns over and over and over again. No? No, but you can fast travel. Here I was thinking that I'd be able to ride this dragon and and just go in any direction I wanted to. That is so fucking stupid. Even World of Warcraft gave you mounts where you could ride around in the air and then they redid the entire world so that you could ride the mounts everywhere. So I just get to be at the mercy of dragon. And wherever Dragon wishes to go, is where we go. I know this is gonna sound like absolutely like I've lost my mind. Crazy. I'm considering doing the main quest. And maybe having a little break after the main quest. Someone in chat said, thank God. <laughs> well, well you're, you're here watching. No one's putting a gun to your fucking head. Maybe that was... Hang on a minute, what if that was a cry for help? What if that absolute unit in chat was trying to relay a secret message to me? That someone is actually, like, forcing him to watch with a gun to his head, and he's- he's here for help, and he's trying to, like, he's trying to shitpost in Morse code, so that we can save him. Ah, yeah, probably just a cut. <clears throat> head of the sanctuary, huh? Yep, that's me. Your recent behavior sets a bad example. I must insist you pay a fine of 300 gold. <laughs> Break that loot across my knee. And if the parcher choose to fight, why then I'll set his clothes alight. <laughs> Kill Jester. Force Whoa, Serana got pretty fucked up from that one too. I think this will be a good place for me to uh, save, so that way I'll see this next time. I'll have forgotten that I saved here. No, Cicero, don't do that. 